Oh, Nancy's been living the life. She's the queen of Andalusia. She's been living in the fairy tale world with her gorgeous husband, King Edward. They sing all day long. They frolic. They have friends, little creatures in the woodlands. The little mice make her dresses. Um, at worst, you know, Edward's fighting off an ogre, and um, then they come to dinner and they talk about their day and. Just life is just wonderful up in Andalusia. <laughs> um, I didn't just slip back into character because Nancy's so different in this movie. You know, returning was just um, it was just a pleasure. It was so much fun to revisit the character, to reunite with the cast after so much time. Um, we all had uh, incredible. Uh, we had so much fun together, and. Um, what was fun about revisiting Nancy was just that in the first movie she was sort of the cynical New York girl and um, now I had to figure out how much of that cynicism and that kind of tough broad New York City girl was still in her when um, she's been living in this fairy tale world for so long and sort of finding that balance and seeing how her clothes and her corsets <laughs> inform the way that she acts and um, has her speech changed? Does she still have a little New York accent <laughs> or does she clean it up for her, uh, you know, um, Andalusian friends? Oh, it's, it's when Stephen Schwartz and Alan Menken write you a song. It's 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 just incredible. And um, you know, Stephen Schwartz has been like my wizard behind the curtain for many years, having written the music to Wicked as well. And so it's such um, it's an honor when they write you music. It's it's a relief because they know my voice so well and they write uh, for me and for my strengths. Um, it was also really cool because uh, because we were in the middle of the pandemic, um, we were shut down, and they started to get creative with how you could record in your own home, and they sent this sort of James Bond suitcase that you opened up and had all these electronics and a microphone and a way to record, and I went into my, my walk-in closet, which was good because the sound is padded in there and good for recording, and I hung the lyrics to Love Power on a pants hanger, you know, with the clips. And I read the lyrics and I had the mic and I sang um, my vocal, which is still there today. <laughs> I think the original film was so smart and witty and clever. And it embraced all the things about Disney movies that we love. Um, but it also kind of, without making fun of it, it, it winked at it. It was also, I think, just Amy Adams. Um, I don't think anyone else could have played Giselle the way she did because she's such a brilliant actress. She was able to bring all of these levels and dynamics to this woman that um, I don't think we've ever seen that before. Someone that has to bring an animated character to live action in real life. Um, so I think um, Amy was uh, the secret sauce there. <laughs>